This how-to video is going to show you how to use the Eagle schematic translator that was introduced into Walker Capture. So under the file import Eagle schematic, we get um, the schematic option to translate. Um, so if we click on the help document, we can obviously just pan through um, some useful information. So obviously the, the Eagle schematic must be an XML format and it gives you some brief descriptions about how to do that in Eagle. So we can obviously open it in Eagle. 6.5 or newer and then just save this file and automatically create it into an XML format. It goes through what we need to do from a translation point of view and there's there's a few information about limit limitations and, and workarounds that you might need to run through from a schematic point of view and some character handling. So if we then browse for the Eagle schematic that we wish to translate, um, so let's just pick, uh, let's go to the Wi-Fi Shield one. I can obviously pick the schematic I want. Where do I want the direct or the, 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 the .dsm file to be generated? Uh, and there's a cleanup option to run through as well. We'll click on translate. Um, the schematic gets imported. We get kind of a, a log file just to run through and see what's, what's actually happened, what it's done. Um, and then the project file gets opened automatically. Um, we can obviously save that. And then if we go to the page on the schematic and just zoom out, we get a general, like, there's the, the, uh, the Ardinio Wi-Fi Shield schematic. Um, and all the relevant information that we need. And we can obviously select parts and do an edit properties to see the property information that's been transferred across, so the property information is coming across as well. Mm -hmm.